Hello, my fellow Ripplers. This is Chris Miles, your cash flow expert and anti-financial advisor. Welcome to our show. It's for you, those who work so hard for your money and you want your money to start working harder for you right now. You want that freedom of cash flow today, not 30 or 40 years from now, if you're even alive then, so that you can have that life that you love with those you love. But most importantly, it's not just about getting rich, it's about living a rich life because as you are blessed financially, you have a greater capacity to bless the lives of others. Guys, thank you for allowing me to create this ripple effect for you guys over the last eight and a half plus years, going on nine years now. Uh, happy holidays to all of you as well. Uh, definitely excited for this happy new year's coming up. And as a result, we're going to talk about the top episodes of 2022, the ones that you guys loved, at least based on those of you that listen to this show. Uh, it's a little bit different with the YouTube videos now, but definitely based on your guys' downloads, we're going to talk about those top 10 episodes today. As a reminder, go to our website, moneyripples.com. If you guys want to create an amazing 2023 and improve your life now where you have more passive income today, like I said, not 30 or 40 years from now, but right now, go check out our cash flow calculator at moneyripples.com today. Chris Miles was able to retire twice by the time he was 39 years old, but he's not content to just enjoy his own financial freedom and peace of mind. Chris wants you to have your own ripple effect so you can live free today. He's not the financial advisor you expected. He's the anti-financial advisor you deserve. He's jumping behind the mic right now, ready to make waves. Here's Chris Miles. All right, guys, I talked about it was going to be the top 10 episodes. Let's talk about it. I'm even going to throw in a few honorable mentions as well. But again, it's kind of hard to do this because, you know, when you get those episodes from early in 2022, of course, they're going to have more downloads. That's why I threw in some of these honorable mentions as those that you guys actually liked a lot more than even some of the other episodes. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys today. I really invite you guys to go check out these different episodes on your own as well. Whether you do this directly through Blog Talk Radio, whether you do it through Apple's iTunes, you can even find them on YouTube. Um, I will give you the episode numbers and everything, but uh, I'm actually pretty impressed and in some cases surprised uh, which ones you guys like the most. So let's dig into that right now. All right, number 10 came up last earlier this year. Uh, Fernando Angelucci joined us to talk about self-storage, specifically how has COVID and everything gone on recently affected self-storage. Uh, as an update to this, that's interesting. I was talking to self-storage operators just these last few weeks, earlier this month. And I'll tell you right now, self-storage is, is actually an amazing opportunity right now. Well, Fernando talked about that in episode number 570, talked about how COVID's affected it, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So definitely check that episode out. Number nine. Number nine was one that we've referenced before in, in several of our interviews. Uh, this one was talking about the Minnesota couple that uh, has hopes of financial freedom. Episode number 580, uh, this is the couple that, with Joel and Michelle Ostrom. Shout out to you guys. I know you guys listen to the show as well. Uh, had them on talking about their experiences. In fact, uh, it, they, were clients of, they were clients of ours that have, you know, started to create more passive income for themselves and create financial freedom. And they're actually getting pretty dang close to doing it. They're almost out of the rat race even today. So that was an exciting one to have there at number nine. So check out number 580, how this Minnesota couple has hope of financial freedom. All right, number eight. This one's episode number 584. So just a few episodes later, it's talking about how to turn $1,500 into $1 million with Airbnb. So we had Lazaro Vento on, on this episode in particular. They're talking about his experience, how his $1,500 turned into a $1 million, really the beginnings of an empire with the, the Airbnb rentals. So I know many of you guys are excited about Airbnb and want to know how to do that definitely check that episode out. There's some pretty cool tips and tricks on how he did it in just a matter of years. So check that out. All right. Number seven is episode number 575. It was actually with me. You know, it wasn't a guest this time. Uh, it's, it's amazing because the guest often will get more attention from you guys. And I'm not offended. Honestly, that's why I bring on guests. But I'm happy to know that at least I made the top 10 for at least one episode. Uh, this is number 575. Are you going to be able to retire? Uh, where I really, really kind of got you know, blunt and in your face a little bit to say, listen, can you really do it? And is that really possible given all the headwinds you have coming at you right now? Uh, so very important episode. I would recommend listening. Number 575, are you going to be able to retire? Because as you're going into 2023, that should be the question you should ask yourself. Um, even if you're younger and you think maybe you've got time, you know, look at the people that we've had on the show that have been in their 40s, 50s, even 60s saying, uh-uh, it didn't work. I did everything right and it didn't work. So 
we really kind of dive into that. Are, are you really going to be able to retire doing the things you've been doing? So definitely check out number 575. All right, number six. Number six was actually one that came in later in the year. It was episode number 588 with John Briggs, who's a CPA, talking about really the tax strategies to help you save big. Uh, I know this one was a popular one. Not too surprised because who doesn't love saving money in taxes, right? And especially this time of year, heck, some of these strategies might be too little too late if you didn't go back and binge that far back. Uh, but there are some great, great tactics you could use to help save on taxes. And the great thing is that a lot of these strategies he's talking about are more evergreen. You know, I'm not saying they're going to be true forever, but these are tax strategies I've heard him teach even 10 years ago. So great strategies you can use, especially for a business owner. If you're a business owner, you got to check out this one, episode number 588, which is tax strategies to help you save big with John Briggs. All right, getting to the top five now. Here we go. Number 574, episode number 574, how to tax-free 1031 transfer into multifamily syndications. And that was with Stephanie Walter. Uh, this one actually I had forgotten about, but I know you guys, this was a big, a big topic. And of course, with many questions around 1031 exchanges, how do we take the equity from a property and move that, and particularly in this case, into a multifamily? So whether you got single family properties or multifamily properties, taking the equity out, moving over tax-free into multifamily, like at least fourplexes or even bigger, like you're talking about small apartments, even large apartments. So Stephanie Walter talks and teaches to us about how to actually make that work. So if you've got a place where you're in a place where you've got a lot of equity in your properties, that would be the number five one to check out, which is episode number 574. Okay, number four, just a few episodes later is number 577. Uh, this one's how to invest while inflation's killing your savings. Yes, I made a top five. Yes, it was another one of my episodes. Um, how to invest when inflation is killing it. You know, I'll tell you today, if I were to give you a little follow-up bonus tip onto this one, because this is a great episode, of course, talking about what are inflation, not resistant type of investments, but inflation-friendly type of investments. Of course, you know, when you're buying real assets, that's the case. I'll tell you as a follow-up though, it's actually not a bad thing to have cash on hand. Many times people think, oh, inflation is killing my cash, deploy everything. I'm seeing a trend right now where people got a little too aggressive. They went a little bit too much on the, on the offense versus keeping their defense in place, deploying every dollar they have. And then when something starts to happen, whether it's an emergency that happens with their own personal income or their business income, whether it's something that happens with their investments, they feel cash strapped now. I've had a few people have reached out saying, I'm feeling cash strapped currently, especially as the economy is starting to take a little corner here, not for the better, uh, but for the worse. I would add this, is that cash is not an enemy. In fact, cash might be one of the best places to store money right now. Doesn't mean you don't invest. I'm just saying keeping a good amount of cash on hand would be good if you're trying to fight inflation, which is going on right now. Check out number 577, how to invest when inflation is killing your savings. All right, now we're in the top three, guys. Number three, number 572, how to quadruple your money, how to 4X your money with raw land, with Brent Bowers. Raw land's always a fun topic. This one definitely got a lot of attention. Um, in fact, these top three were really close to each other. They were within just votes, uh, just a few, few downloads of each other. It was this close, guys. Um, so this one was a big one that you guys really liked. Again, how to invest with raw land or even how to quadruple your profits. So number 572, how to 4X your money with raw land with Brent Bowers. Check that out. Okay, number two, we're getting close to number one. Number two is, uh, this one actually was with my good buddy, Michael Marcial. Um, this is episode number 576, the one thing to make more money in less time with your business. All right, the one thing. What is that one thing? Michael shares that. I think this one is great, especially if you're moving to 2023, and especially if you're a business owner, this is a must listen. Michael Marcial has, has built many, many companies um, you know, built for himself, but he's also helped others build their companies too. Uh, give some really good sound advice. So definitely check that out. Number 576, that one thing to make more money in less time with your business. Again, we want more free time, not less, do we? Okay. As honorable mentions, talk about some of these. These are ones that of course had a lot of downloads, weren't in the top 10, but if you had given them a course of about a good year, they might've, they probably would have been in the top 10. Uh, one was number 608. Uh, this one's how to become successfully unemployed with Dustin Heiner. Obviously, if it's a topic of how to become successfully unemployed, how to fire yourself, um, especially when you're talking about, you know, firing yourself, whether it be from your job or from your business, great tips in here from Dustin. Also number 600, 
Uh, I saved this one for 600 even on purpose. It's how this entrepreneur made 600 million working just five hours a day. This is with Trevor Blake. I thought this topic had to be the episode 600, especially because he made, you know, like I said, $600 million working five hours a day. Who, who's not going to like that? Okay. So definitely a huge honorable mention. Didn't make the top 10, but man, it was so close. Number 625, the three lessons that helped me become financially free before I turned 29. Again, one of my own episodes talking about how my path of financial freedom happened because people always ask, how did you do it, Chris? Go check that out. Number 625, the three lessons that I learned helped me become financially independent. Uh, number 649, how can you use infinite banking in your business? It just came out this last fall, already was one of the top episodes. No surprise, especially when you have guys like Walt Disney that have done use this. We've had JC Penney's, we have GE, we have so many companies, so many business owners have done this already. I talk about even on a smaller scale, even if you're a small business owner, how to use this in your business. Even if it's a side hustle, how to use infinite banking to be able to get your money to pay you twice within your business. Then we have number 656, achieve better results faster with Blaine Elkers. This one got a lot of downloads in just a short period of time. Now that's followed by number 666, why this couple still create passive income even when they don't need it with the Smithsons. Just came out earlier this month, already became one of our top hitting episodes. So definitely check out some of those. Okay, we're going on to number one. Number one, drum roll. Okay, the number one episode was with one of my dear friends and mentors. Uh, someone that I actually put on my list of people that I admire is Jason Medley. Uh, he talked about how to form an elite mastermind group. Uh, he's actually a guy that uh, has helped set up the mastermind group I'm a part of called Collective Genius for especially focused towards real estate investors. You get a lot of these high level wholesalers and flippers, and then some other people too in the real estate space. Uh, amazing guy, uh, gave some really good tips on how to build a community, how to build that. And guys, number 578, that was one of the, actually it was the top, top downloaded episode of the year 2022. Definitely invite you to check that out for my good friend, Jason. Uh, many of my, my friends are on here, people that we actually you know love to interview and even people that uh, you surprised us, you really wanted that value. Again, I just want to wish you Happy New Year. Looking forward to 2023. It's going to be, for I know for us, the best year ever. Now we've passed our 10th anniversary. Um, we have seen so many great things. And again, even in 2023, this gives us seven years to help you guys do ultimately what, which is why this podcast exists. Helping at least 1,000 of you, 1,000 of you and your families to become financially independent by the year 2030. We've got seven years left. Several of you have already done it. Several of you have already reached out and started to take action and have done it today. So excited because I've seen many of you hit that place. I just actually recently talked with one of my clients. He's hired us about a year ago. The exciting thing is he had a slow go. Like it was the cash flow wasn't doing great. He even had a rental that wasn't really paying well. So he's like, Chris, I'm not really getting the cash flow. I have some good growth opportunities. But um, we finally got some cash flow being deployed here in the next few months. By the summer of 2023, he is going to improve his cash flow by get this guy's over $10,000 a month. So even though it was this kind of a slow go, it was this trickling in, man, he just, once he hit past that one year mark, he's easily on his way to certainly, you know, really hitting that goal before 2030. And so super excited for him, young dentist here out of Utah, super excited him. Shout out to you. We keep you anonymous on purpose, but you know who you are because I know you listen to the show too. So uh, anyways, guys, we would love to help serve you and help make your 2023 the best year, especially as we start to see some of the best opportunities show up that we have not seen in years as we start to move into this little reset recession that we have. Great opportunity to become wealthy. The question is, will you take advantage of it or will you let it pass by like really the last recession might have passed by many of us? The choice is up to you guys. If you have questions or you want to figure out how to do that, again, visit moneyripples.com, send us a message, book a time to talk with our people. Guys, we want to serve you. We want to help you. We want to make more than a thousand of you financially independent in by the year 2030. Not to mention, heck, in the next few years would be awesome too. So guys, make it a wonderful and prosperous new year. We'll talk to you later. 